Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about getting started with Windows 10X emulator. So uh, let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to right click on my start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK, and I'm running everything within uh, a Windows 10 build 19.559. And the reason why I'm showing you this because you need to have the latest Windows Insider preview build for this to work correctly. Also, you need a bunch of other requirements for this to work correctly. Now, because I'm running everything within a virtual environment, at the end, it did not work out for me because it looks like you need a lot of memory and you need a strong GPU, right? But I'm going to show you guys how to get it up and running for your environment. So first things first, we need to go to this site. I will provide this website at the bottom of the you know video at the description or I will drop it inside the comment section and then pin the comment. Uh, but we need to click on two links. If you go all the way to the bottom of the page, you are going to see some of the supported operating system requirements as well as the hardware requirements. Uh, but there's two links that we need to click on. The first one is the install the Microsoft emulator. So when you click on that, it's going to give you a nice little dialog box uh, because it needs to open up the Microsoft Store. Click on open. It opens up. This is what we need to get. Click on get. It's going to start downloading and done. Go back inside the web page and click on Windows 10X image because that's the one that we need. Click on that. Again, you're going to get a nice little dialog box because it needs to open up the Microsoft Windows Store. Click on open. It opens up. Once it opens up, click on get. It's going to start downloading and I thought it was like really quick, like a small little container. No, 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 no. It is a huge download. It is about five gigs in size. This process takes a while. Go get a cup of coffee. Go get something to eat or munch on. Eventually, once it's done, you're going to get this. This is a good thing. Close everything up. Click on start. Locate your Microsoft emulator uh, launcher. When you click on that, this is going to load up. So it automatically locates the image that you downloaded, which is a good thing. So click on start. You're going to get this little dialog box. Just click on retry so it can run it as an admin. Plus, it will add your user account into the Hyper-V Administrative Admin Security Group. Okay. Once it does that, it loads up. You're going to get the user account control. Hit yes. And then boom. Uh, eventually, it's going to start doing the OS starting. It's going to reboot a couple of times. Reboot, right? Virtually. Uh, and then I got stuck here. And I think the reason why I got stuck here is because I'm missing a couple of requirements. I did upgrade my memory. I did provide a little bit more CPU within my virtual machine. I gave it eight cores. I gave it eight gigs. But I think it was not enough. It just froze on me. It kind of like completely froze my entire virtual machine. I had to like reset it a couple of times. I'm trying to find a machine that uh, has a lot of memory, uh, good processing power, has a GPU on it, and then I could probably sign in to my Windows Insider uh, account and upgrade that operating system to the Insider build, the fast ring, so I could get this up and running. I could see how it looks. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Also, subscribe, share out the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.